guys I hope you all are doing swell and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Alexis definitely make sure you hit the subscribe button down below to stick around I post college lifestyle beauty behind the scenes of modeling and when we're allowed to travel again I do post travel content as well so if you want to see behind the scenes of my corporate work week as well as behind the scenes of modeling or studying for grad school definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button down below to stick around but today I'm doing an updated what's in my bag 2020 I'll probably do another one towards like the end of the year as well but for right now I thought that I would just film this for today because I had a few requests on other what's in my bag videos for me to do an updated one and so if you guys watch any of my lifestyle videos or any of my fashion videos you might have seen this vegan leather purse and I usually alternate between my vegan leather purses but this is the current one that I'm using right now I got it from TJ Maxx and one thing about getting Getting vegan purses from TJ Maxx it's so hard to find the actual brand so I'll try to have it listed down below if I end up finding it but if not you can probably find one similar at your local TJ Maxx I love this one because it kind of reminds me of the Dior bag I think it's like a satchel or something like that but of course it's way less expensive and it also is just a vegan leather one so I really love it it's versatile for all throughout the seasons because I find that that's important especially when I buy things I want to be able to use it for multiple seasons so this is the current one so it's just got that faux crocodile print it's got a little gold embellishments as well so it has a zipper on the back it has a pretty good length strap as well and it did come with a longer strap in case you want to do crossbody but I like having it just on my shoulder because it's a little more in style and it's a little more tailored as well it has a little buckle right here it has a compartment in the front as well as a few compartments on the inside so I'm just gonna go through and show you guys what is in my current everyday bag I do have my keys which I will put inside of my purse but nothing too fancy it has my car key my door key my gym membership tag it has one of these little things that you can use to punch because COVID so I won't have to touch anything it has stay sexy and don't get murdered because I love true crime podcasts and Kendall my fiance actually got me this when we went to Nashville to see my favorite murder and I have some hand sanitizer as well and then what else my grandmother's house key so there's everything on this one and then usually in my purse as well I'll have my phone this is an iPhone 11 I just have a little sage green case to five case on it and it has a Lexus engraved at the bottom so I can do an updated what's on my iPhone 11 but I don't even know if people like those videos anymore so let me know if that's something that you might be interested in and I can do like a quick little video like this one and show you guys what's on my iPhone 11 but since this video is all about my purse I'm just gonna kind of whip through this I have nothing in the back I think I have a cough drop and receipt see to feel cough drop so nothing too crazy in the back so in the front I typically have my beauty stuff and I just have my face mask because you have to have one because of COVID not only is it important for you to have one for yourself but during these times you could be loving your neighbor as you would yourself so why not just protect yourself as well as your neighbor get you some face masks so I have this little paisley one and I also have some lip products and I usually keep so many lip products in my purse because um, even while I'm social distancing I still put on like chapstick underneath my face mask but if I'm going to like a family member's house can I'll just go to the bathroom and put on some lip products so I thought that I would just show you guys some of it so I have my OG Carmex that I love so dearly I also have my brown lip liner because you have to line your lips before you put on lipstick so I have a brown lip liner I also have my favorite lip gloss by elf and this is in the color love bite and I actually have it on right now but it goes so lovely with just having chapstick or if you decide to line your lips or even putting on top of lipstick like I did for today so this is like one of my favorite ones I also have my favorite lipstick by L'Oreal that is all the lipstick brand that I do buy right now and it's cinnamon toast and it's actually the color that I have on you can make it really 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 sheer and natural or you can make it really heavy and dark but it's just a really pretty like fall fall color I'm so excited this fall time so 
have my baby I wear this all throughout the year because it goes throughout so many seasons so this is like my go-to lipstick I also have a little butter gloss by NYX and this is in the color bit of honey I like putting on lipstick and then putting on a little lip gloss as well because it kind of helps melt that lip liner so it doesn't look too harsh and then the last lipstick that I have is also by L'Oreal it's in the color bold mauve and it's a really pretty purplish type of brown color and it's not matte since I have very plump lips I don't like wearing matte because I feel like it just dries out my lips so much so that's why I like to put a lot of glosses and everything like that on top of it and um, next up I just have my protective ointment it's just some hand lotion that I use um, I have dry sense of skin so I always use this every time I wash my hands I have to put this lotion on because it just keeps it protected it doesn't make it feel like sandpaper when I touch things so I just have a handy bottle of that and also since I have very thick coarse natural hair my hair type is 3C4A and I managed to put in a bun because this is just the easiest way to do it now um, I have some little hair utensils because there have been so many times throughout my life where I'll have a slicked ponytail like whether it be down and curly or up curly or even in a bun my hair elastics do pop because my hair is so thick. So I have some bobby pins to just make sure that my buns stay in place. I also have these little jelly things and I really like these on a modeling job not too long ago. They put these into like my natural curly hair. My hair didn't get tangled whatsoever so I went to Walmart and bought so many of these. And usually when I'm wearing like loose ponytails I decide to put this on because it gives my hair a little bit of a break from just kind of having it just tension all the time. So I have one of these. I also have a really, really, really tight hair elastic for having a slick, slick, slick back look. So I just have one of these on hand as well. And then also I just have a cute little butterfly clip. It has little jewels and everything on it. So um, when I straighten my hair, ooh, that was like last week. I hadn't straightened it for like a few months, but I decided to straighten it out of the blue and I use these hair clips because they looked so cute so I want to do like a style with my curly hair and kind of play it with that maybe I'll take some photos as well like some up close portraits and have a bunch of these in my hair but it's just a cute little clip that I have in my purse and so in the next little compartment I have a few things so I have my sunglasses I love cheetah print so much and these are so freaking cute and sassy so sticky cute so I have these glasses and then I also have my work ID which I'm not going to show you guys because I work for a huge corporate company and I want to keep some of that stuff private so I have that and then I also have my little mirror my mom got me this but it just says I love dogs on it and it just is a magnifying mirror that I keep in my purse because you never know when you need to just make sure everything is looking good. Also I have two little French perfumes and I got these maybe last year or something like that and I love them so much because they smell like Europe. I love Europe so much but these are my favorite. They're by the brand Sylvain de la Cour. They're a Paris perfume brand that I ordered off their site but they're just pretty scents that I like to keep in my purse because you can technically wear them in the colder months. They're not very heavy. They're just a light, very fresh type of scent. But anywho, I also have some hand sanitizer and this one is by Bath & Body Works. It's just champagne toast. So I have some of this in there. And then next up, I just have some mints because I don't chew gum. So I always like to have mints on deck and then I also have my wallet so you guys have seen this in my other what's in my bag videos but this is my Brahmin wallet when I got my first job my freshman year of college I used my money my well-earned paycheck and I bought this wallet at the time I think they were like dumb expensive but now I think they've kind of calmed down with the Brahmin's expenses but this is legit lasted me for so freaking long at least like eight years so I love it it has all my cards all my identification my monies and everything along that line but it's just a really pretty crocodile print um, and I love it it's a good investment and it lasts a very very long time so no complaints about the wallet then I have some spare change down at the bottom that's fallen out of the wallet and then in the last thing I have 
pads and stuff like that as well as my doll because you never want to be surprised and I always like to keep some stuff in my purse as well because I don't know how many times especially when I was like at college I'm like a young adult now doing my corporate girl boss thing but even at work sometimes as well when we were in the office so many times when people just don't have anything on them and I like to be a blessing like a just like a small blessing to someone because I know how uncomfortable it can be if you just don't have anything on you so I always like to keep some just in case so if someone does have their cycle I can just be that supporting friend and hand them a pad and I always like the seventh generation because they don't have any chemicals or anything along those lines but that is it for this what's in my bag you guys let me know in the comments down below any videos that you might want to see I vlog on the reg I do weekly vlogs as well as weekend vlogs I do behind the scenes of my corporate life modeling studying for grad school planning a wedding traveling and just lifestyle content and usually on Sundays as well I post fashion videos so you can find a lot of fun things on my channel but definitely let me know in the comments down below some upcoming videos that you guys might want to see and also if you want to see a what's on my iPhone 11 maybe I can film that soon I know that I am filming a devotional video very very soon so definitely make sure you're on the lookout for that but I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day and I'll check you guys out in one of my other videos. Bye you guys!